Welcome to Exchange Rates UK TV. It is the 29th of December 2021. Taking a look here at Ethereum. By the way, I'm glad to be back. Power restored, internet back, and then Christmas really just kind of threw everything for a tailspin the last couple of weeks of December, which is pretty normal for December. But we're back. I'm back to getting things back to normal. So we are looking at Ethereum here, kind of just doing a rundown here of the three week, weekly, and daily chart to see what's going on. Ethereum, of course, it's had some uh, pretty deep retracements over the last couple weeks. But ultimately, when you look at the three week chart, you can see that there's uh, something developing here known as a squeeze alert. A squeeze alert is a rare candlestick pattern that in it's involves three candlesticks. So the first is you have the sometimes called the, the outside bar or the mother bar, which is this current one from the week of November 15th. And then last, the last three week candlestick, which was formed on December, started on December 6th, uh, that one and, and uh, closed on the 26th of December. So just a couple days ago, you can see that the range was bound inside the range of the, of the first candle. So it has a lower high and higher low than the prior. Look at the current three week candle, which is only a couple days old, a few days old. Same thing here, you have uh, the current range bound inside the range of the prior candle. So definitely you see signs of constriction here. As far as what the oscillators say, you know, the RSI is sitting at this, uh, really not near the Stoller band lows at all, but it could be establishing a higher low. But we'll see, have to see what happens there. The weekly chart, uh, continuing to drift further south going from the you know the second weekend of November 8th to where we are we have one two three four five six seven eight weeks uh in a move lower but, but nothing dramatic I mean topped out around 4800 we're sitting here at 3800 area still 3750 nothing overly dramatic yet as far as uh the price action lower still in a bull market on the RSI above the the first oversold level at 50 the composite index is actually uh, has printed hidden bullish divergence. So you look at the uh, the trough here on the week of October 4th, compare that to where the current candlestick is at. We have lower lows in the composite index, higher lows on the price chart that is hidden bullish divergence. And then going over the daily chart, you can see that it's trading right up against uh, a, a former support zone here. That's the the two six one eight fib expansion, uh, where it kind of is trading in the range of the previous all time high that got hit back in May. There is a supply uh, a support zone in this range, and it could be developing just one really big um, bear trap here. Especially when you look at the composite index. Um, when you actually, I got to put these levels in here quick. Bam, bam. The daily chart RSI is in bear market territory. So the uh, overbought levels are 65 and 55. But sorry, it's in a bull market. I'm My bad. I'm sorry. 80 and 90 are the overbought levels in a bull market. 40 and 50 are the oversold levels. So we're in between the oversold levels of 50 and 40, while the composite index has moved down to create uh, these lower lows. Uh, but there, there is a lot of hidden bullish divergence developing around here. The, the percent B has dipped down below 0.2. We're just not seeing a lot of follow through here. So we do have a Kumo twist happening right here today. And this could be a trigger to move higher or could be a huge push south. Uh, I know that sounds like really non-directional and <laughs> it's like saying it's going to go up or down. Um, the, the overall pattern here, this is a bull flag and that's going to move higher. So bulls will definitely want to look out for any move above 4,200 for uh, if you're conservative entry would wait for 4,200 to go along. Um, and that's pretty much that for Ethereum. We'll update it as needed. Thank you all for watching from all of us here at Exchange Rates UK TV. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.